Train scout McCullough say wagon master want to talk. Maybe wagon master break promise. Kill our game. If so, then we attack. Kill all white men. Burn their wagons. But we talk first. <laughs> from my agreement give me permission to hunt game just enough game to feed my people no more there's only one reason why i do not send a thousand braves down on your wagons because you keep promise not to kill game that means life to my people keep your promise now wagon master that i'll do but Chief Red Hawk must know it is not easy to keep eyes on many people when they are hungry. Then punish those who break our agreement. If you wish others to live, Red Hawk will know. You didn't put up much of an argument, Major. Who said that? Me. Me, Jonas Murdoch. Murdoch, you don't argue with a chief like Red Hawk when he's got his mind made up, especially when he's right. I did agree not to kill his game. You ought to know that. You were an Indian scout. You're right about that, Major. I know plenty about them engines, all right, including how to steal their game right out from under their noses without their scouts even knowing it, without firing a shot. <laughs> You just try that, Murdoch. Just try it. There'll be a shot. It'll be from my gun. Is that clear? All right, folks. Let's get back to our wagons. The longer we stand here, the longer we'll be without fresh meat. Let's get ready to roll. <laughs> You'll still have some of this coffee left. And don't you worry, Bill. As long as I have it, you'll still get your share. Yeah, but uh, right now, I'd trade my share for one little venison steak. I'll see you. Where are you going? Gonna go play some two-handed with Jonas. What's the matter with me? I'm the best card player this side of the Mississippi, ain't I? That's why I'm gonna play with Jonas. <laughs> hey, Bill, uh... You and Murdoch have become pretty good friends, haven't you? Yeah, we get along real good together. Why? I wonder if you'd uh, give him a little friendly advice. I uh, got a feeling that Murdoch doesn't take my agreement with Red Hawk too seriously. Jonas isn't going to do anything to get us into trouble. No, I hope not. I wish you'd talk to him anyway, will you? Well, sure. But, Major, I'll give you my personal guarantee that if anybody on his train steps out of line and kills game, 
It won't be Jonas Murdoch. Have fun. I'll see you. Yeah. What's the matter, Major? Don't you trust Murdoch? I don't know, Charlie. I'm not quite sure. He's not used to living with other people. He spent his life out in the wilderness all by himself. I'm not sure that he realizes the importance of living by rules that are set up for a whole group of people. The only laws he knows are the ones made by nature and the ones made by himself. I bet he cheats at cards, too. Huh? I say, I bet he cheats at cards. Yeah. Oh, Bill. I've been waiting for you. Yeah, I told you I'd give you a chance to get some of your money back. <laughs> How much is it I owe you now? About $23.75. Oh, well, we'll see if I can't whittle that down a little bit tonight, huh? Jonas, how come you're uh, making those rabbit snares? Catch me some rabbits. Come on, Bill. Come on, sit down. Sit right there, huh? You got to admit, I'm getting better every time we play. Don't you know that rabbits are part of Red Hawk's game? Oh, sure, I know that. <laughs> you know, I never had much chance to really get very good at this game before I joined up with this outfit. Sure does be traveling alone. Major asked me to give you a little friendly advice. But he asked the right fella. You know, Bill, you know you're about the first real friend I ever had in all my life. Never stayed in one place long enough before, I reckon. He wants to know if you understand the Red Hawk would massacre as quick for killing a rabbit as if you went out and shot a deer. Oh, I know that. Well, them engines would have killed me a thousand times if they'd have caught me. I lived most of my life by stealing their game. Well, I told him that you were one man we wouldn't have any trouble with. Was that right? Oh, yeah, you was dead right. Oh, I ain't even aiming to use them little old rabbit slayers till we get out of Red Hawk's territory. Can you open, Bill? Well, let me take a look. Yeah, um, I can open. I'll just bet you that uh, 2375. Don't you want no other cards? No other cards. something to eat? It's Grandpa. He, he's awful old, and he needs some good food to keep his strength up. Or he's gonna die, sure. Step that off, huh? Oh, he doesn't complain, but I'm worried. Well, you know there ain't nothing left to eat in this whole outfit besides some hardtack. What made you think I'd be any different? Everybody knows that you were an Indian scout, that means you know a lot about hunting and trapping. I just thought, maybe. Maybe I'd be doing a little of that trapping on the side, huh? What's your name? Alma. Alma Hardy. Just you and the old man traveling all by yourselves? But look, I, I tell you what you do. You go on back to your wagon and maybe... Now, mind you, I said, maybe I'll be able to rustle up something for you to eat. You mean you'd go out and get us something to eat? I didn't say nothing like that, did I? Now, go on. You go on back. <laughs>
Charlie, how in the devil do you expect to make coffee without a fire? You know that we gotta have something hot to wash that hardtack down with. Hey, Charlie. You're gonna have to yell louder than that for him to hear you, Bill. What? He's out there in the brush someplace. Well, what's he doing out there? He's doing exactly what I told him to do. He's keeping an eye on your friend Murdoch. You mean Murdoch's out there? Yep. Charlie saw him slipping away from his wagon a while ago, so I sent him out to see if he could find out what he was up to. You got nothing to worry about. You don't think so, huh? Well, there isn't a man on this train that doesn't know what would happen if they kill some game. That's only if they get caught, Bill. Murdoch figures he's smart enough to get away with it. And he might just be. Then he'd probably talk about it. And that's all it would take to get some of the others to try it. Then we'd have real trouble. I'm not taking any chances, Bill. <laughs> Something, Charlie? Murdoch. <laughs> Say, you didn't think I was dumb enough to let you sneak up behind me, did you? <laughs> well, I've been a funnin' with you for ten minutes. I, I'll bet you never did figure out how come them tracks of mine led up to that tree, but never led away, huh? <laughs> All right, if you've had your belly full of laughing, just tell me what you're doing out here. Oh, I'm just taking a little walk, Charlie. There ain't no law against that, is there? Well, not if you're just taking a walk. Oh, well, that's all, Charlie. All right, then. You do your walking around your own campfire. Some Indian might see you out here and think you was hunting or something. Whatever you say, Charlie. All right. That's better. I'll bet he was just taking a walk. <laughs> and a campfire on. If I didn't know better, I'd say it almost smelled like chicken a-boiling. Mm. Or maybe squirrel or rabbit. That's yeah, funny the tricks a fellow's imagination will pull on him when he ain't had a square meal in a long time. Uh, more like rabbit, I'd say. Well, there's nothing to smell any better over a campfire unless it's bacon and eggs in the morning. I thought it smelled rabbit a-cooking last night, too. Uh huh? Uh-huh. I stopped by to see how old man Hardy was faring. 
He's looking better. That's all. Uh huh. I figured it was because he was eating better lately. Uh, how do you figure that? Well, like I was saying, I thought I smelled rabbit a cooking, so I looked in the pot his granddaughter Alma had on the fire. And that's so. It was rabbit. Now, how do you expect they caught any rabbits? Same place you've been getting yours? That's so. I reckon you've been trapping them, huh? I reckon. What about Red Hawk scouts? Well, they'd have killed me if they caught me. But they didn't. All the same, you ain't got no right to put us in danger like this. I got a right to eat, ain't I? Not if you're gonna get all the rest of us scalped. Well, there ain't been none of you scalped yet, and there won't be. Reason you're belly aching is because you haven't had a square meal in a long time, but you're not willing to do nothing about it. Well, what can we do? Well, uh, look at it this way, James. This is a wild country we're in. And unless you're a little smarter than the next fella, you're liable to end up being feed for the buzzards. I even the wild animals know that. They know that the strong ones live off in the weak ones. Unless the weak ones are smarter. Now, you you don't never see no wild animals dying of starvation, and, and dang few of them ever live long enough to die of old age. Now, you ain't no better than them wild animals in the spot you're in. Neither is the engines. Only they're stronger than you are, and they're smarter than you are. But they ain't smarter than me. Hmm. What you getting at, Murdoch? But just this. I've been living by stealing their game out from under their noses ever since I've been in this part of the country. And I am to keep right on doing it whenever I get hungry. Because that's the only way I know how to live. Good. That's just what I figured. I reckon you can trap a lot more game than you could possibly eat by yourself, couldn't you? Oh, I don't hardly see how I could do that. No, no. Well, you think it over, and we'll keep your secret from Major Adams, if you agree to help us. Just enough harm to get the whole train massacred, that's all. Now, look, Charlie, don't go getting your feathers all ruffled up. I tell you what, in about an hour, you come over to my camp, and I'll treat you to the best bait you've had since this outfit run out of fresh meat. Bribing me ain't gonna help you none. Ain't bribing you. Just plain old hospitality. Call it whatever you like, but it ain't gonna stop me from taking you back to the Major. Now, come on, let's get going before one of the Red Hawk scouts see what we've done. You know I'm smarter than them engines. Ain't nobody seen me. Well, I saw you, and I ain't particular how I take you back, dead or alive. Come on. I'm beginning to think maybe I made a mistake letting you in on this. Oh. If you wasn't a friend of Bill Hawks, I'd polish you off right now. And if one word of this gets back to the Major, there ain't nobody gonna save you. Oh. 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 Major! Oh. Oh. What's the 
What's the matter? Oh. Get that whiskey in my rucksack. Charlie, come on. Charlie, wake up. What happened to you? Charlie, listen to me. Hurry up, Bill. Here. Whoa. Well, drink it, you darn fool. It's my good whiskey. Come on, Charlie. Who did this to you? Oh, I'm Burdock. I caught him with the rabbit. He clubbed me with his rifle barrel. Oh. 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 Bill. Oh. Major, let me Take care of Charlie. some more of this, Charlie. Uh, Amazing much thought I was dying, Bill, to break out his private stock. I never thought you'd go this far to get a drink. That bandage wet so it heals me inside out. Yeah. Where are you going? Mr. Hawks! Mr. Hawks! You've got to do something. Do what, ma'am? It's Jameson. He says now that Major Adams is able to stop him, he's going to kill some game. Get out of the way! All right, come on. Hurry up. Let's go. We're gonna get some fresh meat for our families. You heard what Red Ox said. You kill any game and we all die. You got one set of rules for your friends and another set for us? What do you mean by that, Jameson? Murdoch's been trapping rabbits all along. I didn't see nobody get killed because of it. Murdoch's gonna pay for what he did, just like the rest of you will, if you break Major Adams' word. Now, you get back to your wagons, and I'll take care of Murdoch. Come on, get those horses unsaddled. Bill, who's gonna run the wagon train with the Major down? You? Me? I'm just a cook. You remember the trouble I had the last time I tried to run this outfit. Look, Charlie, I gotta bring Murdoch back. Don't think for a minute the Red Hawk doesn't know what he did, and he's just waiting to see if we're gonna punish him. How are you gonna find him? I'll find him. Take care of the Major, Charlie. Look out for him. Don't you worry about him. I'll take care of him. Thank you. 
Looks like we're gonna have to do some more climbing, little fella. Maybe we can shake him up in them rocks. Indian country. I'm not going to move this wagon fan till the major's better. I don't think he can stand the jolting around right now. Well, if what you say is true about Red Hawk, he already knows about Murdoch stealing his game. And he didn't do anything about that. Well, he will if Bill don't bring him back soon. Then I say we got to get moving right away. Don't make no difference if Major Adams is the one that's ailing. There ain't no one man that's more important than the whole train. He said that himself, a hundred times. Maybe if we just waited the rest of the day, till morning, I'm sure he'd be able to stand it then. But we ain't got enough food to last us till we get out of Red Hawk's territory the way it stands. Every day we're held up means that a few more of us here won't be able to last it out. Any way you look at it, it's still one man against all the rest of us. So you gotta make up your mind, right now. All right, hook up your teams. We'll pull out in half an hour. Come on. I 
had to do it, Major. I guess you know that. But I promise you, I'll take the smoothest trail I can find. You follow me, Bill? Who'd you expect, the major? Oh, that was an accident, you know. We was fighting and he fell on that spit. Was Charlie an accident, too? You ain't in no position to argue much now, Bill. I'm taking your horse. You ain't gonna follow me far on foot with no grub nor water. Apache juice, and then he'll stay away. It'll put a bee inside his head, singing folly while he doodle all the day. Oh, he'll take this 
juice of the fat you eat, and maybe he'll stay away. It'll put those bees inside his head, singing Polly Wally Doodle all the day.
do. Be sleeping out, old man.
protecting you. I'm taking you back, Murdoch. You going the hard way or the easy way? No, sir. I never had you figure for getting this far, Bill. Well, you better pray that we're not too late. Oh, Bill, you, you know I never should have joined up with that wagon outfit in the first place. I don't belong around a bunch of people. I lived alone too long. It's a little bit late to be thinking about that. Sailing. I was just trying to get him some food. Well, given your word as a friend, it didn't mean much to you, did it? I figured because you was my friend, maybe you'd understand. Well, maybe you can understand why I gotta take you back. I'm sure sorry it was you would come after me, Bill. There ain't no way in this world you're ever gonna get me back to that train alive. And I sure hate to have to kill you to keep you from trying. Well, I'm taking you back, mister. So you better get used to the idea. stubbornest fool I ever did see, Bill. I give you enough reason to quit and turn back a dozen times. No, you just had to keep on it coming. You're a fool, Bill. But you're a dangerous fool. I don't aim to have you on my trail for the rest of my day. We're all through playing follow the leader, Jonas. Why didn't you quit, Bill? Why didn't you quit? Now you fixed it, so I gotta kill you. Did you hear me, Bill? I said I gotta kill you. Take you back. people have to be told. 
Just because you don't see an Indian out there is no reason they're not there. Well, they're probably watching every move we're making right now. What about Murdoch? He got away with it, and I don't see nobody doing anything about that. I'm not going to let you do it, Jameson. I don't see how you're going to stop us. Don't do it. What's the matter with you people? I'm not the only one they have a gun on. You stand by and let him go out there and kill one little deer and be just like he shot down your own tracks right where you're standing. None of you are starving yet, are you? Committing suicide is not going to help your cause any. You all got guns, haven't you? Why don't you use them? The least you can do is buy yourself a couple more weeks of living. No, I don't pay no mind to Charlie. He's just trying to talk you out of a square meal. We'll share everything we get. Come on. Jameson! Mm. Here's the first man that broke Major Adams' agreement with Red Hawk. Now I want to see the second one. Well, come on, let's get to it. I want to see that second man. I want to see him try to get me on that wagon there so I can shoot him down. Because I'm in no mood to go chasing anymore. Bill, we got company. Red Hawk, no. Wagon master keep agreement. Braves bring more fresh meat every day. People no starve. my life against Red Hawk doing anything like that. Well, that you did, Murdoch, and mine too, almost. Boy, are you a mess. Had some trouble, huh? Yeah, a little. How's the major? He's resting pretty good. Let me fix that show. No, it's all right. Now, you go help the people split up that deer meat, and I'll watch Murdoch till you get back. All right. You gotta understand how it is with a fella like me, Bill. Injuns killed my folks when I was just a little old kid. I've been making my own way ever since. And the only reason I was able to do it is because I learned two things. How to steal their game. How to kill before I got killed. Uh, I'd have killed you too, Bill, for the same reason. Ah, uh, we might as well admit it. I just ain't cut out to live according to the rules made for a lot of people. Why'd you join the wagon train, then? No reason. I guess I just wanted to see what it was like to be amongst folks again. Well, even animals run with others of their kind. I get lonesome, too, I suspect. Bill, if I was to get another chance, I bet I could learn to live amongst these people. Yeah, I bet you could. Wouldn't break no more rules, wouldn't cause you no trouble at all. This I know. You're a fine, understanding friend, Bill. Hey, let's cut these loose. Nope. Not yet. Not yet? When? When we feed you. Feed me? Yeah, when we feed you some of that meat the Red Hawk wouldn't have given us if I hadn't brought you back. You're going to keep me tied up? Chained. Ch Chained back in that supply wagon for as long as Major Adams says so. We got to carry out your punishment so Red Hawk won't change his mind again. Chain up! Oh, Bill, now wait a minute. Wait a minute, Bill, that ain't no fair. That, that's like making me pay for feeding this whole outfit. Yeah. Let's look at it this way, Murdoch. You just had your first lesson on how to live by the rules set up for the good of the majority. And when you broke those rules, you the same as volunteered for the job. Oh, Bill! Some of you men gather up a lot of firewood. We're going to eat good tonight. Charlie. Yes, Major? I want a great big fire out in the center of the circle there. Bill, let me look at that shoulder. 
Charlie, what's going on out there? Oh, nothing. Samini just brought us a fresh... Bill, he's talking. Charlie! Hey, sir, you're all right. You ain't unconscious anymore. Of course I'm all right. What's going on out there? The conquering hero come home. Hero? What are you talking about? You mean you didn't even miss me? Well, you been someplace... Well, what in carnation happened to you? I told him two or three times, Bill, but he's been unconscious. Sit down, I'll look at that shoulder. I went out looking for Murdoch. Um, looks to me like he found you first. He brought him back, too. Red Hawk scouts must have been watching every move we made because you should see the nice venison they sent us. Venison? Yeah. Well, I'll be. <laughs> Bill, I think you're going to have to wear yours. <laughs> How do you like that venison? Well, I like you being sick because it's helped your disposition a lot, you know. Well, Charlie, I'll tell you about being laid up. It's really made me realize that I got two of the best friends a man could ever want. The way you've looked after me and, Bill, what you've done. I just want the both of you to know that I appreciate it. He still must be delirious talking like that. I'm serious. Well, don't just sit there. Go get me some of that venison. For it's all gone. I'm hungry. What about you? He's all right. <laughs> yeah, but he had me worried for a minute. Will you get the venison? You're not worried now, are you? Come on. Okay.